Oh, he's got a rocket shirt, too. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh, this kid's awesome. At Consumer Reports, we believe fuel efficiency is super important to the future of cars and to the next generation of drivers. So we wanted to have a little fun and see what future car owners envision driving one day. We talked to kids who participated in Disney's Create Tomorrowland XPRIZE Challenge, and let's just say they've got some really creative ideas. To further explore some of the designs, I teamed up with Amos Winter, a mechanical engineering professor at MIT. My car was designed to use natural photosynthesis, and in the future, we harnessed that power and we drove it. So what we have is basically a clean energy cycle. There's no bad waste product. The only waste product is oxygen, and that actually promotes more plants. Katrina's photosynthesis power car is really cool. Her, I think her knowledge of biology exceeds ours. She has a lot of elements in her idea that are actually happening now. The idea of growing fuel with like biodiesel and having algae mm -hmm. that uses photosynthesis to produce oil, people are working on that. Let's get real, all energy comes from the sun. Everything yes. that we eat comes from the sun. She's looking at just taking that solar panel but actually using the biology that's been here for you know millions and millions of years and just using that to power. It's an air compression car that turns some turbines on the axle of the car and the more the turbine spins, the faster you'll go. And it's powered by a solar panel on the top of the roof. The solar panel will actually power the compressor so that you don't actually have to go and recharge. You can stay on the road however long you want. I would like it to look more like a sports car instead of a regular sedan. The potential for advances in solar technology are huge because Right now, the best solar cells would be about 20% efficient. So that's like 20% of the energy coming from the sun hitting the cell is actually converted into electrical energy. You up that efficiency, you can make huge strides. One thing that Jaden talked about was the fact that the car has to be stylish. The idea of something that's energy efficient, something that's gonna help with global warming to be something that's also sexy is actually kind of brilliant. I created sort of like a flying vehicle. So it's pretty much like an airplane, except it's smaller. I was just using Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck just as examples on how the seating would work just for fun. I was viewing this as like for humans because mice can't drive a steering wheel. There are a few companies working on flying cars right now. Uh, Terrafugia is one of them. It's more of a car that can morph into a plane and then the wings can fold back up and you can drive it on the road. I liked her three rows of seats because if you were doing personal flying vehicles, you would want to put as many people packaged behind a small area as possible. A four-person economy car going at about 50 miles an hour burns as much fuel per person per mile as a 747, going 10 times as fast around 500 miles an hour. It's an electric scooter that has an engine in it instead of batteries, and it works by taking the water, converting it into hydrogen by electrolysis, and then it goes into the engine that burns it and converts it into rotary motion. And also these scooters fly, right? Yeah. So how does that part work? Or will that be figured out in the future? Figure out in the future. Jason's scooter, uh, what I appreciate about it, like his whole delivery of his idea, is how many different facets of the design he considered. And he was talking about like, oh, it doesn't make sense to produce hydrogen if you're just burning coal or oil to do it. We have to do it renewably. And why do vehicle manufacturers just add bells and whistles instead of adding like core value technologies to the product? You look at someone who is 10 years old or 13 years old, they want an environment around when they're gonna be 90. And with the prospect of things like climate change, it's pretty scary for 13 years old. 